guys so welcome back to another video so i'm playing my fourth tournament as you uh seen in my previous videos i shot at uh plus six plus seven and plus eight so this is uh my fourth tournament um i just got in um about an hour for my tea time so i'm gonna go through the same routine as i normally go uh, i know that i need to stay a little more focused especially when i play a bad tee shot i need to just remain in focus because a lot of times that's what ha that's what's been happening i've been kind of like uh, sabotaging my my the hole you know kind of like give up on it and uh, i shoot a, a bogey or sometimes even a double on those holes so um i'm gonna try to just stay more focused and try to um hold more pots i've been practicing a lot my putting i'm gonna apply the method that i show uh on my previous videos uh that you know my putting seems to be working pretty pretty good so hopefully i can hold in a few more birdies and my goal is to shoot somewhere under 75. i'll take you through it as much as possible and then i'll check back with you and and let you know how it goes all right so time to get my scorecard here so i got my scorecard here and i get uh six strokes it's stable four i'm playing uh six handicap this is the range right here as you can see it's a pretty nice day so and there's no wind slightly just almost no wind so i'm gonna go ahead and hit some balls and see how it goes 250 now These are the balls I have left. I'm just gonna hit a few to the back flag. Okay, they seem to be flying a lot today. I noticed that at the range too, so I think I'm gonna get a little more uh, club distance with my irons and my wedges. That was just like a quarter swing and that went almost 80 yards. So I need to watch that. All right, so I'm gonna be using this uh, Pro B1 ball. Uh, I was given this by my brother. So I've been playing pretty good with this Pro B1s. So this is gonna be my first hole. It's a par five. Just need, I just need to get it left of the bunker. And if I get a good drive, I can get it into. All right, guys, so I missed my driver to the left. And then I hit a eight iron right there at about 80, uh, 100 yards, hit a 56. And I rolled there and it went in the hole. So I made an eagle on my first hole. That's, that's amazing. Oh, let's find out if it went there. Saw it there. It went there. Oh, nice. <laughs> and lay. There we go. All right, so I eagled the first one. I bogeyed the second one and the third one. Uh, which is handicap one. I had a six footer and unfortunately I missed that so I parred that one but I'm happy because it was a handicap one hole. Okay so this is a part three. I hit my shot right there. It was 165 to the pin and I decided to play seven iron. Hopefully I can just try to get a birdie there. Okay so I'm one under. My t-shirt went over here. I had to chip out to there and I should have like 140, 150 to the green, uh, but it's a bar five. So. so I managed to par the bar five where I messed up. I hit, I hold a 20 foot putt. So that was great. I'm still one under. Now I'm playing this uh, bar three and I did not want to go to the, to the bunker here. I'll show you. I did not want to go into that bunker. So my, my ball ended up just short there. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put it or chip it. Okay, so I'm on hole number seven. I'm still one under a par. The par three, I chipped it within like four feet and I got it there. 
Now I'm on hole number seven. I hit a decent drive, but this is handicap two. So it's gonna be a little tricky to get to the green because there's water to the right. So I'm just gonna try to stay to the left side of the green. So I had a 145 yards to the pin. I aim it to the middle of the green and it just went just a little left. I'm still on the green, but at least I'm not, I didn't risk getting into the water. So hopefully I just I could just par this one. Okay, so I managed to par that. Uh, it was uh, like uh, probably seven footer for par and I saved it. So it was a good putt. Uh, now I'm playing hole eight. I'm still one under. Actually, never been like this in this um, score here. So I hit a very good drive. So I should have another pitch wedge or nine iron to the green. It's quite narrow, the green, so. All right, guys, so I stayed a little bit out of focus in the last two holes. So I bogey hole eight and I bogey hole nine. It could have been worse, though. So uh, I thought it was out of bounds, but I, but I found it. I got it out of the trees, and then I kind of messed up, but I, I managed to bogey. So uh, I'm one over. Now I'm playing uh, hole number 10. Uh, very long part four. I hit a good drive, but I... I pushed it to the right and there is some it may be some trees in there so hopefully I get a shot okay so it was the, the ball wasn't in the trees but it's on the rough I hit a uh, five iron because I had like 180 five to the end and I don't know I think it was gonna slow it down but I think I hit it pretty good so it might be should be on the left side of the green um, there was a little wind against I just played it just to the right of the or the pin so hopefully it's in the green otherwise i have just a chip in okay so unfortunately i hit that past the green so i'm in the fringe right there but i think i'm still gonna put it okay so i started this back nine with a par um it was a long putt and i didn't put it really well i mean it was a good line but it stayed like it's almost like six seven feet and uh, i hold that one so uh, it was going to be the third bug in a row so i think that's important so i'm still one over and going to the to hole number 11 which is a part three okay so it was 180 yards slowly downhill to the pin i hit a seven iron but i stay i passed the bunker but i'm in the french so gotta get this up and down for par i'm still one over so i managed to par the part three i'm scrambling when i don't get it to the green but it was a good a good chip and uh, now i'm playing this part four I hit a really really good drive so um but i need to give myself some chances for birdies so far i haven't i'm missing a little bit of the, uh, i'm missing the green a little bit i'm just you know hitting it around the green a little bit to the right or left on the fringe and i managed to get it up and down but um that doesn't give me a chance for birdies so i need to look for some chances here all right guys so i messed up really bad i i uh got a double and then I got another double. I just hit the water and then I uh, one hole and then I messed up on the other hole. So it was two doubles in a row. So now I'm five over. Uh, definitely a pity. I mean, there is a, part, a short part five here. My hope is just to get a birdie there. And there's a part three that hopefully I can do something. Okay, so it's a 10 footer. I got it. My ball is right there. I need that for birdie. I really, I definitely need it for birdie. All right, guys, so I'm on hole 17. I hit a decent drive, but I made a mess. I made um, three doubles on the back nine and one bogey. So that makes it six, seven, plus seven and plus one on the front nine. So I'm plus eight. I got two more holes. I just, uh, uh, it was my fault. I just, just didn't stay focused. I hit one out of bounds. And then I had to hit the water and some. So three double bogeys in in the back nine and I was really close I thought that was gonna be my day but I still got two more holes left so we'll see what happens all right guys so I just finished my round and I ended up shooting eight over par so very close but I didn't pull it off I, uh, I ended up shooting plus one on the front nine uh, I was one under through hole eight and then I double, I mean, I buggy the last two, so I ended up uh, one over. And then on the back nine, unfortunately, I had uh, three double bogeys. And 
one bogey. So that was uh, seven over, seven, uh, seven over on the back nine. And it was all me, it was just, uh, I hit it out of bounds. Uh, on the one, I hit it in the water. And, you know, I wasn't really, um, it was just lack of concentration, really. Uh, I kind of like gave up. And then, you know, I was able to finish par par in the last two holes, but it was too late. I mean, those, those those three doubles just just got me. I mean, it was it, it was um, I got a little bit depressed, and I think um, I need to be a little more focused, especially after doubling a hole. You know, it's not the end of the it's not the end of the world. I just have to keep going and try to get a birdie. And unfortunately, I kind of like I felt like I was giving up. So it's pretty it's a pretty good score, but considering that I was one over through nine holes it's not a, it's a bit disappointing but I gotta tell you guys my my uh, my game is really good uh, my putting was fantastic I don't know if you watch the video but I did everything that I, that I show you in that video and I was holding all my four footers all my three footers I was holding them without even I mean it was very I was very confident with those and then I was holding some uh, 10 footers, the, some 12 footers, and uh, I felt really, really confident with the with the putting. Um, what got me uh, on those out of bounds was, for some reason, I kind of like physically like felt really tired, and it it, it affected my driver. So uh, on those three holes, uh, my tee shots were horrible. It was a uh, duck hook to the left. Uh, one was out of bounds, one was water, and then uh, the other one, it was something similar to it was just because of my t-shirts. So, iron game was perfect. It wasn't, uh, uh, it could have gone worse, worse than double, so at least it was just a double. But, um, overall, I was uh, disappointing at the back nine. Uh, so anyways, I'm not giving up. Um, I'm gonna try it again, probably. Uh, later on, I still have some time, but I really thought that uh, starting with an eagle was going to be the day for me. And uh, unfortunately, I just lost my focus and wasn't able to recover. So, uh, you know, and things happen. That's that's what happens. I think I wasn't. Uh, I'm not physically ready. I think I'm, I felt a little out of shape towards the end, carrying my back. It was really hot, so I probably need to do some. Uh, some training um, to kind of like stay in shape a little more because uh, I felt really, really weak towards the end. So it's not an excuse, but um, I felt that I felt that I wasn't uh, that I was tired. So, so anyways, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just uh, I will try to get some footage with the GoPro as soon as I get one, so you can actually see the shots. Uh, but for now, I'll just give you this. Uh, this uh, footage of uh, you know just just me talking through through my round as I go uh, uh, as I wait for all the players to play the ball. So I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.